In a previous demonstration of modes on a beam, node lines stopped forming across the beam and began to form along the length of the beam at higher frequencies. That's because the beam was starting to act more like a plate. So let's try shaking a small square plate at 62 hertz. What we are seeing now is instead of node points, we are now getting node lines. In this particular mode, there is a node line running across here and another node line running across here. We also see patterns that resemble curved nodes because of the way the two nodes are pulling together. Let's watch this pattern develop again. Despite the curved lines forming here, we can see quite nicely into actual node lines forming diagonally. At 183 Hz, we can see two node lines, one across here and one across here. What's happening is this plate is now acting like a beam that is bending, and these are the node lines coming across here. Remember that every time we cross a node line, we change phase, and so if this part of the structure is going up, all of this central part is going down, and all of this part is coming up as it goes through the sine wave. We see these aren't perfectly straight lines. There are slight curves to them, but they are acting more like a beam than a plate. Let's see if we can find another resonance. What we've found now is we have multiple node lines. Two node lines going across here and here, and in the other direction, two node lines going across here and here, with a little bit of culling in the corners. This is a classic mode for a plate where we see in phase, out of phase, in phase, in phase, out of phase, in phase, in phase, out of phase, in phase, all across the plate. I'm now at 1557 hertz. As we increase the frequency, the mode shapes become increasingly complex, and we can see that behavior going on here. It's a symmetric plate. It's square, so we expect to see a symmetric mode shape. Remember, these are the node lines, the lines of node displacement. So as we transition from one side of a node line to the other, we always see a 180 degree change in phase. I've now increased the frequency to 4.6 kilohertz, and we can see a quite complicated node behavior. It is still close to symmetric, but we started to lose part of the perfect symmetry we saw before. That's very common with structures because the structure itself is not exactly symmetric. If it is not being driven exactly from the middle, small changes will become more noticeable at higher resonances.